we're gonna be doing flips for kisses. So basically, there are these like white bunkers, okay, and so you can explain. Wait, no. I know him. I know him. I know him. <laughs> going on everybody my name is Ian and welcome to the first ever Ian Channel Studios story time through these videos I will be telling you a unique story from my life and today you know I showed that clip at the beginning and you have read the title I I have to admit I just have to come out and admit Brennan 2000 subscribers McDougal and I used to be bros I'm dead serious right now so recently I discovered his channel on YouTube and saw he had 2,000 subscribers and I was just like, boy, 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 after all we've been through, you're not even going to tell me. I'm just kidding. Brennan and I haven't talked since we were little tykes. And today I'm going to be telling you a little, a little story about us. If you're watching this, Brennan, hello. Get ready for a trip down memory lane. So... <clears throat> what story are we going to be talking about? My, um, second feature film, obviously, with an outstanding runtime of 6 minutes 12 seconds. We are the champions, my friend. I don't know where that came from, but that was on key. That was... Good job. I'm getting off topic. Let's get to the story. Alright, so it's a nice summer day. Brendan and I are little tykes, like I mentioned. About four or five. We don't know what to do. Okay, so Brennan's like, you know what? I brought my bike. We shall ride our bikes. So he hops on his freaking mountain bike. No training wheels. Okay, maybe we weren't five. We were like six. It's just, it's crazy. Hops on this mountain bike thingy. No training wheels. And here I am on my tricycle. You know, inches off the ground. Just... <laughs> Like one of those creepy clowns in parades. So we ride our bikes around the neighborhood several times. And, you know, I'm the kind of dude who is not necessarily all out when it comes to outdoor activities. I'm not saying I'm not going to go outside if someone wants me to. I'm not going to go outside if nobody wants me to. But I'm not going to. I'm a sad life, guys. I'm just kidding. Anyhow, so I'm the kind of dude, I, this literally happened on the trip. I saw the worm and I was like, no! <laughs> and I fell over and scraped my knee. I had scraped my knee like eight times. Brennan was over there looking perfect. We, we thought maybe we should go back home now. And uh, he was like, well, what will we do? What's worthwhile? And I was like, you know, my dad, he got this new iMac. And you can make freaking movies on it. Movies! Movies. And he's like, boy, like, like Toy Story? I'm like, like Toy Story. Mm -mm, like Toy Story. And he's like, could we make one? And I'm like, well, could we? So we rush back home, eat some popsicles. So we decided to make a movie. And he's like, well, can't we just make a Toy Story movie? That's original, right? I was like, yes! And it could be about Buzz and Woody. Like, you know, Buzz and Woody. What could it be called? And Brendan's like, Buzz and Woody! And I'm like, boy! <laughs> Ow. What an original idea. So... We run upstairs, and I put on my Buzz Lightyear costume, because, you know, Buzz Lightyear, everyone's got a costume of that, Space Ranger. And he puts on my Woody hat, and he grabs my Indiana Jones whip, because apparently, if you're a famous movie character and you're wearing a fancy hat, boom, you got a whip. I, have n I honestly have no idea why Woody had a whip in it. Now, the cool thing is, some of you really, really, really YouTube-centric people, or at least someone who watches Brennan, may have noticed him in either my 500 subscriber tribute or the first video on his channel, which all of you should see because it is my most viewed video on the channel. When can I see you again, homemade music video? 
Read the sarcasm. But yeah, that's a clip of Buzz and Woody. And like I mentioned earlier, it only ended up being 6 minutes, 12 seconds. But we were proud of it. In case you really want to know what it included, it was basically 6 minutes of Brennan stating he's... I'm his favorite pal. And then the rest of the time is either us throwing a baby doll over a really high catwalk or the two of us trying to stick quote-unquote inappropriate things in the form of throwing up or spanking our butts. So inappropriate. That's why I rated it PG. I remember I burned it on a DVD and I was like, dude, it's real now. Buzz and Woody be on DVD. (laughs) And in kindergarten, I remember I would like sketch pictures. She would be, I don't, I don't do that anymore, but I used to sketch things during class. I listened. I was all, I've always been an okay student, but I was like, I was like scribbling down and um, my teacher was like, what's this? I'm like, ah! and she looks at it and she's like, Buzz and Woody coming to DVD. They made another one. And I'm like, no, I did. And that's how I became a popular student at my old school. But. That's the story. That's my number one story with Brennan. I remember a couple times I went to his house. His what? His house, and we played with like the Fisher Price Castle things. Well, that's gonna wrap it up for the first story time video. I'm gonna thank you all so much for watching. But at the end of every story time video, we'll be doing this. Let me scoot over. Dun, dun, dun. You will be voting for the next story time video. Do you want? Oh, by the way, we will be getting them both at some point. It's just which do you want first? So do you want, boom, a three-part story time series about a war over a rock, a playground war over a rock, or be a confession of someone special in my life that you guys don't know about, most of you. Pick that one, but you'll get this one eventually. I would just pick that one because it'll be more fun, but whatever fits the boot. But yeah, seriously, thank you guys so much for subscribing. I mean done that yet thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe for more awesome content and with all that being said as always may the force be with you bye guys you got the invitation you got the right address you need some medication the answer's always yes a little chance encounter could be the one you've waited for just squeeze a bit more